No, but that, time time is is not real. Sixty minutes is sixty minutes. No, but t- so time's not real, because, right? We know this mm-hmm. because if you go to another planet and you go around, it'll be different time for two different people. So time's a concept. And if you are at work or you're on a date, the date will go by faster. And my day was re- was longer than everyone else's because I was busting my behind. Everyone else's. Yeah. Oh, and you don't even know what kind of day I had. Okay, well, did you have to take care of 12 children? In my life? And then when it was time for you to clock out, you stayed five extra minutes to be a nice guy. But then some woman sets a fire alarm off and you all have to go outside for an hour because the the fire department is forced to come. And when they come and kids are inside, then you fail inspection. Then you learned something today. What? You learned how to do a fire drill. (laughs) hello and welcome back to the croak and crow podcast i am spencer cardia i am apple and this here is frank and we're both looking studious and you got your hood up like a hoodlum (laughs) um this is apple uh our dog and um he doesn't like to go on walks no so there's his brother it's walk time his brother is a little bit um eccentric um, a little bit high strung mm. needs to run around the block. Yeah, this chubby guy refuses. He yeah. cowers at the sight of a, a leash. Yeah, but then worse than that, he gets very. Well, upset. He doesn't want anyone to take the walk. Yes, it, it's not that he doesn't want to go. He doesn't want anyone to go. He's like, why is anyone doing? Yeah, this? Yeah, this is bad news. So he gets even more upset when he's left alone. So he's with us today for the time being, and um, we'll try to keep him calm. We'll bring him in every <clears throat> every first of the month. Yeah. Oh, it's it's September first. Wowzers, <clears throat> man! Is there a, is there a bigger jump in in uh, months than August to September? You mean how everything changes? You know, it's like a fade, like a, you know, a hairline fade where it's clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think August September is like a straight line. No, I could see that because yeah. like even so, go oh oh well yeah because it turns into fall. Right. What is what is winter? February, March. What is winter? February, what is March, time? April. Like that's a that's a May. That's a very soft, gradual thing. Yeah. It's like August. That's hot, hot, hot. September. It's should we bring the pumpkins out? Out. It's wild. It's a wild. It's a wild time. September. September, as the Spaniards say. Um. Yeah. So it's September first. Whole different vibe. There's dogs. There's collared shirts. <laughs> um. Not collared greens, but collared reds. So yeah, we had a, we had a fire alarm today. You had a fire alarm. Which yeah. You, what kind of school are you if you haven't been in the fire alarm? Yeah, and all the kids have to hold hands with oh, each other, cute. create a line, and then they're so slow. But you're saying some kids had already left. Yeah. Doesn't that make it more confusing when you're trying to do attendance? No, because every I mean, we're it's all we're, documented. We're, we're, we're pretty <laughs> we're pretty good over there. Okay. I know, but they were literally they were like wheeling out the uh, the baby carriages because oh it's like gosh. there's the, the newborns there too. <gasps> And I'm like, what do you mean she pulled the fire alarm? She didn't pull it. So it's a Catholic school, yeah. church, Catholic church that has a young school. So kindergarten is the highest grade. Um, but it's it's connected to the church. And so all of the faculty, if they give an hour of service every month, just an hour, you get 25 cents more. You're paid 25 cents more like every month, which adds up, right? Like Per hour? Per hour. Yeah. It 20, sounds like it sounds like twenty five cents a month. No. So twenty five cents per hour. So okay. four hours is a dollar, eight hours is two dollars. Right. You know, every week of five days is ten dollars. It's it's a little it's a little extra of for, course. for doing something good. It's right. like you shouldn't you should be doing it without the twenty five right. cents. But so the teachers end up doing a lot of what, what day was, was yesterday when this happened. Okay. This it was August thirty first. Okay. So you can either like go to like you know, actually hand out food on Saturdays to like the homeless, but you can also like make food like oh, in just really? their kitchen. In their kitchen. So okay. end of the day, let's just make a ton of, of super pasta yeah. to hand out tomorrow. Got my hour done. Where's my 25 cent raise? Um, and so a woman was doing it and the alarm went off and it was like. From cooking. Yeah. And so we went out and hey, is everything okay? It's like, yeah, I forgot to turn the vents on. Okay. No big deal. Turn the alarm off. Head honcho um, guy comes down and says, we all need to get out right now uh, because 
it's a school. So it's right. not just a, it's not a house fire alarm. Right. Turn it off. It's immediately the fire department's contacted. Even if you call them and say, don't worry about it. It's like, all right, we'll send out a car. Right. One of those like fire chiefs. Mm-hmm. Make sure. Marshall. Marshall. And yeah. then in the inverse, everything needs to be, it's a kid's school. Every alarm needs to be treated as a real alarm. Yeah, that's fine. And so had to bring all the kids out. But it was at 4.30. I, I stayed five extra minutes to be a good guy. And um, well, You just what, never know. Those kids needed me. Did they? No. Who else <laughs> would have comforted them in such a oh, trying time? I bet, though. You're making time? a joke, but I bet it's true. It is National Chess Day. And you know what's interesting about that? I have a chess tournament tonight. Oh, really? Months ago, I, I think in conversation, I was taught... Uh, the local place where I play Quizzo, um, I, there's also a chess board. And I've beaten some of the the scholars that, oh, wow. that frequent there yeah. to their dismay because yeah. I'm fun loving and cool. Yeah. I'm like a youth pastor. You're, 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 um, and it's like they're, they're punching the air. They're like, he's, you're a ringer, he's as they smart say. too. Yeah. We, that was what we had. Right. He was the man. He was the man. And now he's the man with the brains. Anyway. So you're going to. Got signed up. And then so I was like, oh, yeah, whatever. I'm in this big group bracket. I'm the first game. The person, the one one person, first game of this bracket, who and I'm in it, paired with. He okay. never goes. He never goes there. It's not one of the guys I beat. So you don't know anything about I him? I do. I used to hustle people back at the college that I went to. Okay. Same area. Mm-hmm. Um, everyone would come into the library. So everyone would come into the library and. I would just be sitting there, like mm-hmm. those guys who just sit in like Times Square or not Times Square. Um, what's the park right there? Is he comfortable? He looks like he wants to sit. Oh, there. he's good. Um, the po- the park in yeah, New York, right? Central Park. Central Park. Yeah. Um, and then he came in. This kid, he was like my understudy on the dance team. Okay. And so, I sit down, friend. All are welcome. And he's like, "What's this piece?" Oh, he tricked you. What's this piece? Oh, a rook. Does that one go diagonal? No, you're lying. No, I'm being over dramatic, but he definitely gave. Okay. He definitely leaned on the side of. Oh my gosh. I'll give it a shot. Right. He whooped my derriere in five moves. No, and that's the first person you're playing? He whooped, yeah. He whooped my derriere in five moves and then had the audacity not to say, I don't know, at least keep the lie. Oh, wow. Good for me. I got lucky. Don't worry about it, Spencer. He scoffed, not laughed. Not chuckled, scoffed, and said, I probably should have told you that I was the captain of my chess team in no. high school. We went to nationals. And so now, he, so, so then um, the whole bracket is like, whoever you're with, everyone knows each other. So it's like, yeah. message them privately every week, set up a time that works for both of you. I just wasn't going to write them. And today, I get a message and he says, um, "Can you want to do it at 11.30? I said, 11.30? I work with children, sir. Oh, 11.30 in the day. 11.30 at night. At night. Even worse. 11.30, okay. I get an hour break. I could do it. Right. But yeah, 11.30. So it's like, I didn't want to say no because it's like, it's already yeah. the end of the week. But it's just a bummer because when I, like, and so the Quizzo is going on, which I wasn't going to go to because right. now I'm <laughs> studious. So now I'm going to go to Quizzo, get last place like I always do, wait around like a hooligan till 11.30 just to so get So you my- did accept his challenge I do. what am i gonna do i know um i'm gonna i'm gonna take my i'm gonna take my my whooping right but it's just like it's a lot of going out of my way yeah knowing that i'm gonna get my butt kicked good ha- luck thank you stranger things have happened david beat goliath i mean look at um cool runnings Who's the that? jamaican bobsled team they didn't win doesn't matter they went to the olympics so you might be able to move up i the got bracket. i got into the bracket Oh, you had a fight to get in the bracket? No, but it was like if you I need to know. Everyone in the bracket is chess efficient. Right. I was I was complimented to be invited to the bracket. Okay. Don't get me wrong. Well, then you already have one victory. Maybe we could build on it. Small fish, big pond. Yeah. Well, it's National Chess Day, so maybe that might be the edge I needed. You know, great game. We have a chess podcast. Check it out. Mm-hmm. I think it's called like the King's Gambit or something. Yeah. He knows the openings and the closing. You know, like you it ruins a game of chess. Oh. I'm very smart. Full stop. Hopefully, if he does beat you, he also beats the next guy. Because then uh, you, you won't look so bad. I know. But my other thing is, I don't know how it's going to be. These are all like kind of like, uh, nerd is a mean word. But like, 
not actually nerd would be better nerd would be like oh what's going on over here is that like cool guy nerd oh and so i feel like they're gonna take it a little seriously. like there's gonna be people around me i just know it and they're gonna be watching like moves it's okay you're working yourself up it's okay i'm gonna beat them up in the parking lot no it's fine um, um, if you need me to be in an earpiece in your ear, can you just come in with me, hold my hand? Well, no, that's too obvious. But I can stand in the background and I can say like E four to J eleven. <laughs> it's a battleship. That's the chess. <laughs> Is it? I don't even know. I didn't know there were letters and and numbers. Yeah, it's like you know, like the grandmasters. Which yeah, are like the, they can play with their. They play so much that I, I saw. Oh, they can picture. I it. saw a video. It's on YouTube. So after after this, not during this, after this, check it out. Uh, there's these four guys I think they're called the try guys okay grandmaster he's in a room with four of them blindfolded playing them all by saying his move so one and oh it wasn't like one beat him go to the next one no every move so they had they had full time to think right he'd go to this table and say uh, you know B1 to C4 next 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 then have to go back he photo saw every board of the four of them, kept up with it and won. Beat every four of them, all four of them. But does he know what to do in a fire drill? But does he know how to handle himself in a fight? In a fight, fire drill, um, making the food for, hey, food you know, for the you home. You know what house, Einstein house says? Einstein says be challenged. if you judge every um, animal's on its ability to climb a tree, a fish will live its entire life thinking it's dumb. You're an Einstein um, fan today. Well, yeah, because Einstein, he's had that theory that uh, time's not the same, which doesn't seem right to me, but I'm pretty sure he said it. Does he play chess? Einstein? Mm-hmm. I'm sure. You don't know. Yeah, but maybe he doesn't have time for it. Yeah. Maybe it's arbitrary to him. No, he's a fun guy. He probably didn't play chess. He's too fun. He probably played like beer pong. <laughs> maybe. Um, but how are we doing, guys? It is Thursday. Beautiful Thursday. Yeah. Um the 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 dogs are barking. Uh the birds are chirping. We had a pretty- dogs are barking means your feet are hurting. In modern day? Or is yeah. it old? Yeah. Well, I don't know how like that's like TikTok Gen Z now. doesn't yeah. say it, but no, they do. Do they? Oh, so they don't. So that's old, so that's a, a callback. That's a callback. Yeah. Oh wow, I didn't know that. So yeah. yeah, on TikTok and stuff, like, um, there's like this new thing of like, oh, uh, they got the dogs out, or like, it'll be a caption. It's like vicious dog attack caught on camera, and they'll like pinch your like hair with their toes. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's terrible. Um, yeah, it's it's a beautiful Thursday, man. I'm just working hard. Okay. Um, just, you know, doing my thing. But anyway, um, anyway. Any, anything new with you? No. No. Okay. Who cares? Not who cares <laughs> <laughs> with about anything. That, who you ex- cares? You that, accept that I didn't. It doesn't matter that yeah. there's nothing new because yeah. some people ask that and it's like, I no, know. there's nothing new and that's okay. You know who hates it the most? Like I think um, recent college graduates. Yeah. They're afraid to take a walk, you know, because yeah. in the neighborhood because the people will say, what are you doing? Yeah. Where where are you going to go now? What are you thinking? And they're just like. Uh, and you know what the worst part about it is? I'll, tell, I'll, t- I'll tell you what. I'm not stressed out, but. I find off, t- off the, qu- the question comes from someone who wants to get past what they're, they're saying to then tell you how good they're doing. Yeah. People do get um, stressed out by questions like that. You're correct. And a lot of times the asker doesn't know another way to be social no i was saying the opposite i'm saying i feel like a lot of times you get those questions the hardest from someone who's doing well oh you th- they want their turn to brag yeah and it's like so what are you doing with your life because i yeah i could see that i've just got that's, a promotion that's, that's that's contributing to this to these people's social anxiety i'm saying that when people say, make remarks or say something i just think it's because of their lack of vocabulary or their lack of you know saying like you just yeah. mimic what people other people say to you and so then you say it to them and like that's you know? true and, and it all, all comes back to the how you how you spin it there's been a lot of times where people ask me that and i say some lackluster thing i'm doing yeah in an enjoyable way <laughs> and so it they see it as oh okay huh. where like some people are like ah, no, i'm not, not doing much same old same old but it's like i will tell them a grandiose story about how i work at the local park and it's like the way it's all about the the confidence I'm super, they tell it. I'm super experienced in talking to strangers and sure, making, I'm not supposed to. making small talk with neighbors. <laughs> Are you? I am. Okay. I'm super experienced. A little defensive. 
I grew up in a row home neighborhood. So we had millions of neighbors, you know, yeah. and, and I was a paper girl. I was knocking on people's doors and I was selling candy and I was, you know, walk a thon, sign my paper. I can talk to people. It's easy. I, I'm in market research groups. I can do it. But um, are you I, telling yourself that? Or well, the, because the, the recently audience? I've been told that I don't say the right responses like when um, I'm at the drive through window oh, or who does or when people pass me like so on a track. Yeah. Like people will say. Um, good morning. Good like, morning. And, and you're like, uh, I'm doing fine. Thank you. No, like I don't. That. I don't even say all that. I just go, OK. Oh, hey, I know. And Ugh. I know. And and I, and someone keeps telling me, <laughs> who's with me, like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, you're supposed Do to better. say yeah. you're supposed to say, I'm good. How are you? You know, and I'm just like, oh, I'm very like two letter words. Boom, boom. I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> Okay. I don't even want to give them the opportunity to stop and tell me stuff. You, you brought up ground on a row home. I was driving with my buddy um, and we were going past one of those developments. Mm -hmm. And he was like. What do you mean? Like the single homes? Yeah. Those yeah. big homes. That all match. Yeah. And he was like, look at these cookie cutter homes. Like they're all the same. How could anyone do that? And I'm like, you live in a row home. Right. <laughs> is, is Definitionally, everyone in your neighborhood has the yeah. same home. I mean, yeah, and it was just, it was just well. Little. I saw a thing on Instagram, and it and it was a woman, and she. Um, you've seen the trend where they they say something, and then they show themselves as a child, and they say, "Yeah, she wouldn't have accepted that or yeah. something like that." But it was a, a woman, and in her, she was sitting outside her house, and she was like, "My house isn't Instagram pretty, like uh, to take Instagram." Yeah. And then she showed a picture of her as a child, and and the child her child her was like, "We have a house." Uh, and I am guilty of that. I'm yeah, I'm guilty yeah. of being like. Oh, like I want it to be this way or that way. But, you know, since I did grow up in a row home, my dream was to be able to walk around the outside of my home yeah, without going down the corner yeah. <laughs> like this. And, you know, I can do that. And so you do forget what the younger you would have been very impressed with. Well, my, I remember growing up, this is like one of the, few, I don't know why it held on. Maybe because I told myself to remember it uh, um, as a kid. I wanted to have freedom. Yeah. And so I think I read a book about a person getting their license. Okay. I might have been eight years old, nine years old. Yeah. And I knew what freedom was. And I, I vowed to myself, the best day of my life is going to be when I have a license and I have a car. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive to KFC, buy five points, Northeast Philadelphia, buy a bucket of chicken, okay, sit in the parking lot and eat it. Just by myself. I bought it in my car. Nice. Eating a bucket of chicken. Oh, for, for the you family. Can't, you, can't get, you can't get yeah. a bucket of chicken for yourself. Right. No, a bucket of chicken just for me. Never did it. What? Never did it. What a letdown of a story. I know. I know. Never did it. Still to this day. Should I do it? You should. I should. So like now you, you get old and, and, and you like you said, you lose the sight of it. I need to fulfill that. My now i'm like that sounds awful i know i'm gonna feel sick right uh what am i like well, don't my... eat the whole, don't eat the whole no bucket. i'll i it's literally just get the bucket the and eat one piece it's your um, prerogative yeah but i'm just saying it's like that's out of the way it's cost money a bucket of chicken but i'm not hey spencer not snap out of it yeah. i'm not fulfilling your dream yeah. i'm fulfilling that child our dream, dream. <laughs> i eat that one piece of chicken and like the glorious rays from heaven come down and it's like you've completed your mission yeah. on earth you become vegetarian Oh, I meant I was being assumed. Oh. Yeah, like Mary. When you assume, you make an ass out, out of, of you, you and me. And me. <laughs> All right, guys. It is Walk Through Thursday. Roll the intro, please. Welcome back. Hope you're having fun. Cuz Walk Through Wednesday just begun. What is going on, guys? It is Walk Through Thursday with the gang minus the dog. They are not Christian. <laughs> um, how you doing? What is Walk Through Thursday? Well, today we open up the Bible. The Bible is open, covering Frank's face. Um, once the Bible is open, we pick a Bible verse from one of the many books of the Bible, and out of inside those books, one of the many chapters into a verse. Yeah. And it's nice because you don't realize, you know, when like you look at an iceberg. Yeah. You don't. I, I don't think you ever really look at an iceberg. But you right. know the analogy of an iceberg. You don't realize that if you are a casual Christian, which I, we are, I mean, like most people are who have faith, they believe in Jesus, but 
the verses that you hear, you may think you hear a lot. Oh, I've heard so many Bible verses in my life. You're seeing the tip of the iceberg. There's so much. Right. And even those icebergs, you see it as just ice. Right. This is the day that we go in and we chip a, chip a piece off and we say, let's look at this cube. Let's put it under a microscope. See the crystalline structures. Right. Are you distracted? No, I was reading it in voicemail. <laughs> okay. Um, the crystalline structures of ice. You ever see crystalline structures? Yeah, why not? And so today's the day we do that. So we just uh, we chop it down, we break it down, we uh, we break it down sentence by sentence, line by line, word by word, letter by letter, and by golly, we're just gonna get into it. So today we are reading out of the book of Esther, and you have just about every translation written on this paper. Yesterday, in yesterday's podcast, which you can um, find on just YouTube. right here somewhere, it's um, it was the word of the day was covet co- co- Corvette. Corvette. <laughs> Covet. But in the midst of the podcast, you were talking about the school, working at the school, I and you, you you were pulling examples um, from working there. And then you said, um, hey, maybe maybe that's why I'm there. Yeah. And you just made a passing comment. And then I very quietly said, Esther. <laughs> because it, it triggered in me. Did you really? Yeah, I did. That's a fine that, that's that <laughs> clip. So... Um, I said to myself, what is that line? And this is the line. And why do I have all the translations? I think because maybe they were just the tiniest bit different. Okay. We talk about translations sp- sporadically through the Croak and Crow podcast to let people know a Bible's not exactly a Bible to a Bible to a Bible. If you go to Bible study and y'all are taking turns, some people might say, well, what's going on? Because there's, tra- there's, there's translations. Yeah. Um, and we usually use New International. NIV till the death of me. But um, yeah, so that's why I just have the extra ones there. Sweet. In case you wanted to pull. So we were reading Esther 414. That's April 14th. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. Um, I'm going to read the New International Version. Sure. And then maybe while we're talking, I can peruse. Okay. Um, for if you remain silent at this time, relief and deliverance for the Jews will arise from another place. But you and your father's family will perish. And who knows but that you have come to your royal position for such a time as this. Right. So we saw Queen Esther at the Light and Sound Light Theater. Light and Sound Theater. <clears throat> Lancaster. We, we have yet to see David. And if we miss it, I fear for you. I fear for your mental health. Yeah. Um, and so if you remember um, the play that we saw, which was the story of Queen Esther, um, she was faced with, should I try to help the Jewish people yeah. or should I just live here in the castle and because it was a huge ask. Yeah. She could be killed. Um, and then it was the, you know, the the concept was brought up that maybe it's not an accident that you're working at that school and working with little kids, which really was not in your plan at all. The, quite the opposite, actually. Right. I was going, and it's uh, like, oh, that's. Through life with that never being right. <laughs> children. That's, that's weird. And then it's like, hmm, maybe it's not weird. Maybe maybe it's maybelline maybe it was for an important point so um this verse just the, the we can um, walk through it in a second but i my idea for the main number 14 is that which i said before what happens if you don't pray does you know like how much responsibility yeah. do you have and i think that this is kind of saying someone else can save them yeah. like uh, the other things will happen other opportunity <laughs> opportunities Oppo- will present themselves and there's salvation out there that doesn't have to deal with you. Yeah. But we had Big Butt um, Friday, I think, last week. So we can have Big Butt Thursday. I have big Butt every Friday. <laughs> big, thir- big Butt Thursday. But yeah, but maybe you are in the castle for this reason. Maybe you were, you know, brought to this point f- to to explore this. Not that you have to because then you have free will. But like, what do you think? Yeah. Well, I don't want to walk through it because you want okay. to talk a lot about the last sentence. But I am in love with the... You kind of like okay. glossed over it. Okay. And you were like, um, oh, you know, deliverance comes from every place. That's not even what this is saying. It's I not, really okay, tell saying. me what it's saying. I'll tell you. Tell me. For if you remain silent at this time, relief and deliverance for the Jews will arise from another place. I really like that. Okay. So, because we always... We've never brought this up as scripture, but we always talk about like, oh, what free will, how does it mm-hmm. make sense, destiny and stuff. Back in the story of Esther... The Jews were being persecuted, like not. It wasn't just like it, it was. They were they were gone, and so Esther's 
thought was, should I save them? Right. I don't know. Oh, I'm kind of scared. This goes to sort of more about that free will. Of like, well, what is it? How's their destiny and free will? It's the Jews will be saved. There will be rejoice and, and a, a huge movement. It's like, and I think that's sort of how those two things intertwine. Okay. Because it's like a lot of people, they might feel pressure and be like, oh, you know, I was chosen for this. And it's like, yeah, but your mission will be done regardless. Right. But the only detriment will be you not doing it. Right. And so that's the next line. It's, yeah, it's your choice to get involved. But you and your family's family will perish. And so it's like, hey, listen, the the, the grand scheme of things will be fine. Right. But are you going to be a bystander in the story and your life never amount to what it's meant to be? Right. Or are you going to be the person who does it? If not you, if not me, then who? Mm. And this is saying somebody and you're like, oh, shoot. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like get out of line. <laughs> yeah. So I really, cause I, yeah, I, and I think in a way it might, it, it might seem like um, an anti-motivator, mm. a demotivator, if you will, yeah. where it's like, okay, well somebody else can do it. Perfect. But it's like, it's kind of the opposite. It's like, I, I think more so than fine, if no one else, it's saying, no. The, yeah, you're right. The, the, the Jews will be delivered by, like, by my hand. Because the, they always say, this. right, like the greater good and yeah. like, okay, I'm going to do it for, the, you know, when you see these, um like these 90s movies where like, you know how the astronaut's always saving yeah. the planet, you know, but he, you know, he's going to perish in the rocket. You yeah. know, it's always for the greater good. Now, this story is the reverse yeah. where it's like, oh, it'll be fine because, yeah. you know. But what do you want to do about you have, your situation? You, yeah. And also you have the chance to, you have the chance to do it. All right. Like it will be done. I, I can't tell you how. I can't tell you when. Right. It will be done. Right. My, I will be do done. Do you want to, to be stand, part of it? Do you want to stand by and suffer for yourself just because you didn't want to be the one who's doing it? Yeah. It's really interesting because she was an un, un I don't want to say unwilling hero, but there are heroes in the Bible that choose to go to battle choose yeah. to change things she's she was kidnapped you know she remember she yeah. was pulled into the castle and she even changed her name she's she's supposed to be um hadassah right mm-hmm. um to, to hide the fact that she was jewish and um but it's interesting once again in the bible the character being asked yeah asked being asked, asked. do you want to do this and it, it goes to show that like even in the bible with these like all these prophecies and like foretellings and anointings of kings where you start to lose sight of the everyday man. How can I relate to someone who was picked? Right. It's like, well, you're just seeing the people who were picked and stepped up. Right. Because every all each one of them was asked. Yeah. Right? Like we it was was David um you know uh, chosen to be a king, right? By God. It's like, yeah. But I if you look at these themes in the Bible, it's he was chosen and he stepped up. Would there right. be no king? Uh, would there be no like person who right. created Jerusalem and, and brought the Ark of the Covenant in, into it? There would. There would be. And it would be a different story. And that's what I think is so nice of them. Yeah. Uh, nice ab- about following the stories of these great biblical people. Because mm-hmm. when Jesus came, right. there was no, um, don't worry. <laughs> we'll be, everyone will be forgiven their, for sins with or without you. It was, you were the one. You were the only one. Yeah. These people, it's they all had choice. They, it's not like, oh, well, it just happened. I just, I, it's, the Lord stumbled upon me, and, and I just have, had to go along with it. No, so they all had the choice, right. and, and they all stepped up. And if they didn't step up, God is God, and, and He will make His plan happen regardless. Right, right. And He wants, I think that's a big part of it. He wants us to step up. Right. Like that is sort of the purpose of life. It, it, it's given you opportunity it's like a it's like any father it's right i i can lead a horse to to water but i can't make it drink and right that, they want you to drink they want you to and they're, they'll, they'll keep leading you to water and right. it's like it's up to you and i and i want this for you right and i'll keep giving you opportunities obviously yeah i'm, I'm going to get my my field work done with another horse regardless right but I want you, I will keep right. continue to bring you to water because I want you to yeah, be that's really, plowing my fields. That's really great. Um, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I was just thinking about it. Um, yeah, just to you know, get through it. Uh, and who knows? But that you have come to a royal position 
for such a time as this. Right. And I think that so I think this balances so nicely on this idea of um destiny and free choice. Mm-hmm. This is it's literally showing that in one verse. Right. The dest cuz that's always a question with with predestined means right. you always knew. Yeah. You it, any any or uh, you know philosophical arguer would tell you you can't have predestiny and free choice. The, there's one or the other. Either this was going to happen, or this was, um, or this was uh, either this was going or this was chosen on the spot. Right. And this is saying it's the opportunities that, that are like given. It's I know I want you to. Right. I know I want you to save the the your family. And the Jews, right? From from uh, this this awful. And thing. If I could say something quickly, because it's over. Um, but I also like that it says, "Who knows? Maybe yeah. this is what you're for." Because since the Bible is going to last for all time and go down the line, yeah. I think it helps people. That open ended thing. Yeah, because you don't have to. If you're in a position and it's a terrible position, but you say, "No, I guess I'm supposed to be here." Yeah, it's not saying that. Just like when it says. Who you know? Um, you may have entertained angels unawares. Yeah. It doesn't mean every stranger is an angel. Yeah. It's saying consider the fact consider that it. some people you meet yeah. may be angels. Consider the fact that where you are, even it might seem unlikely, but it might see, it might be where you're supposed to be. Not everywhere you are is supposed is where you're supposed yeah. to be. And if anything, that continues the idea of free will. Mm-hmm. When someone's asked you a question like that, it goes back to you and it makes you think. Right. And who knows? Maybe this is. And then you're not thinking. Okay, well, I was told that this is where I'm supposed to be, so right, I'm going to do cause it. Right, because then that would made her decision for her. Yeah, and, right. and so now you're going back, and it's like, wait a second, like, is it? I don't know. It's like, your choice. And yeah. it's like you still have to decide for yourself. Mm-hmm. You're not. Everyone wants to be told. Yes. Everyone wants God. It's easier. Everyone wants God to say, "Stop doing this and do right. this." Fine. And it's like, even if you're mad, you're like, yeah. "Well, he told me I have okay. to do it." <laughs> well, I, I know that, I, that this is going to work out because I was told. Right. It's much harder when it's who knows. Right. Maybe, maybe that. Maybe this is where you're meant to be. Maybe that action you're thinking of is what you're meant to do. Maybe that school, the fire alarm, is where I was meant to be at five o'clock That's right. today. Half an hour past my shift. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. All right, guys. That was a fun verse. I really enjoyed that one actually. Um, but that's it for our podcast. Stick around tomorrow for doc. Oh, this little cute girl. She was like having me read books. Um, and I was distracting them because the te- uh, other teacher was busy, and. I read one, I read another, and then I'm like, no more. We got to go down for snack time. And she pulls out Fox and Socks. (laughs) And I say, oh, we have time all of a sudden. (laughs) Now I got time. Even though Fox and Socks was a hard one. Was that the tongue twister? Yeah. Oh my gosh. But now I was a seasoned veteran. Yeah. Everyone in the class stopped in their tracks. Get out of here. And I was going. Tiny little kids. Yeah, really? Fox and Socks and Boxing and Docks and (laughs) Docks. And And then they all stood up and clapped. Uh, that's what set the fire alarm off because yeah. it was too hot. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Peace.